Hollywood Renal Face. This is Nanny Suzanne, and it's been forever since I've done a bedtime reading. It's been eight or nine days. Nanny was, you were busy. Nanny was busy with retiring last week, and then you went off to the ranch to visit Grandma and Grandpa and take care of the eggs and the calving and all that fun stuff on the ranch and now you're back home and then you were off to the beach yesterday or to Buffalo Pond and uh, I just saw all the beautiful pictures and thank you for sending that happy birthday song to Uncle Michael yesterday on Canada Day and uh, I have to show you quick pictures because I wanted to show you last week when it was mommy's birthday but then you guys weren't around I was busy so these are pictures of mummy when she was much younger so here's one of her here isn't that pretty that was taken at the zoo remember the zoo here's another one there she's on the couch in our old house and she loved pillows just like you guys you guys throw all your pillows on the floor mummy liked them all piled around her this is a picture of Nana and Mummy on one of her birthdays. I'd say she's about 14 there, maybe turning 15. And there's another pretty picture of her. And uh, one of Nanny and Mummy. Look at that dress. Nana made that dress for her. Not too many pictures of Nanny taller than Mummy. And there's another cute picture of her in a pool our old 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 house that was at Christmas time look at the pretty dress Nana made all those dresses and then there's mommy with curly hair and braces in her mouth and Uncle Michael and here they are at Uncle Michael's graduation from kindergarten isn't that cute that's so sweet so those are pictures I wanted to show you last week when it was my birthday, but anyways, we do it this week. So here's a children's book about being a bad sport. Mm -hmm. Let's find out what that's all about. It's about Lenny again, very popular guy. So it says, reading about Lenny can help you understand and deal about being a bad sport. So she says, I won. I won. People who do not win and lose graciously are bad sports. I hate to lose. The cat says, mm, you look upset. Bad sports are happy only when they win. When bad sports lose, they can pout, cry, or throw a temper tantrum. I'm never playing with her again. Bang, bang. Bad sports sometimes lie so they can win. It's my turn to move. It really isn't, but I want to win. Bad sports sometimes cheat so they can win. Hee hee, I'll just sneak ahead a few spaces while she isn't looking and the cat's saying i don't think it's your turn bad sports sometimes criticize other people so that they can win they try to make the people they criticize feel bad about themselves for not winning you're not smart enough to win or to beat me so why try and she says, he's probably right. I don't know why I even try. Bad sports are not good winners. They act as if they are better than the people who lose. I won, that means I'm smarter than you. And she just sighs. When bad sports win, they say and do things to make people who lose feel bad. Ha ha. She always loses. She's easy to beat. Maybe he's right. Maybe I'm not good. Avoid being a bad sport. Try to be a good sport instead. Do you want to play another game? No thanks. It's no fun playing with you. You're 
a bad sport. Good sports realize that no one can win all the time. They know that every person wins sometimes and loses sometimes. They also realize that losing does not make that make you a bad person and winning doesn't make you a good person. You won. Good sports lose graciously. Even though they might not like to lose, they congratulate the winners. Congratulations on winning. I really wanted to win. Maybe I'll win next time. She says, thanks. When good sports lose, they allow the winners to enjoy winning. Good sports try to make the winners feel good and feel that they did well and deserve to win. You played a good game. You deserve to win. And the turtle says, I wonder if she's any good at foot races. When good sports win, they try to help the people who lose feel good. You won. Yes, but you played a good game. I enjoyed playing with you. When good sports win, they are kind to the people who lose. Good sports encourage the people who lose to try again. You did a good job. Keep it up. Next time, you might win. And the turtle says, I won a race against a hare once. Uh, the turtle and the hare. <laughs> It is important to treat other people the way you want to be treated. If you want other people to be good sports, you must be a good sport. Let's play again tomorrow. It's fun to play with a good sport. Now, wonderful. That encourages us to always be good sports because we can't always win and we can't, and hopefully we don't always lose. But sometimes it feels good that we win and then we want somebody else to feel good about winning as well. And when they do, we should be really happy for them. So, remember our Just Joking book? So, this is a tongue twister right off the bat. It says, say this three times fast. Cooks cook cupcakes quickly. Cooks cook cupcakes quickly. Cooks cook cupcakes quickly. Well, Nanny did a really good job. Want to try that? Cooks cook cupcakes quickly. Cooks cook cupcakes quickly. Cooks cook cup quick cupcakes quickly. Ta-da! That was a little tough at the end there. Oh, look at the lion. It says, a female lion usually gives birth to three to five lion cubs at one time. Whoa, that's like an instant family. It says, knock, knock. Who's there? Cash? Cash who? No, thanks. I prefer peanuts. So instead of cash shoes, he prefers peanuts. Cute or sheep. What goes thump, 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 squish, thump, 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 squish. An elephant with one wet shoe. Oh, that's funny. We love elephants, don't we? Yeah. Another tongue twister. Say this fast three times. Jolly juggling gestures, juggle jingle jacks. Jolly juggling gestures, Juggle Jingle Jacks. Jolly Juggling Gestures, Jungle Jingle Jacks. Jolly Juggling Gestures, Juggle Jingle Jacks. Say a little bit quicker. Jolly Juggling Gestures, Juggle Jingle Jacks. Jolly Juggling Gestures, Juggle Jingle Jacks. Bravo! Not wonderful. So that's our story tonight. That was fun. And tomorrow night, we'll look at that little big book for kids on why. And so we'll learn some interesting stuff there. So I thank you that we had our FaceTime together. And 
Monty is just growing. Oh my goodness, he's got these rolls, rolls, rolls on his arms and his legs. He loves to eat and he eats well. And Alphaeus, man, he feels bad about your big toe that is black and blue. I'm not sure what you did, but I so feel so sorry and I hope it gets better very, very quick. And Nanny just loves you. Alphaeus, my sweet boy, Nanny loves you completely. And Winry, my sweet granddaughter, you are just so precious. And thank you for reading those three storybooks for me and only two words you had to spell out for me to tell you. Out of those three storybooks, I just loved it. And you're such a great reader and you're so smart and I'm glad that you're looking, you're so excited about going back to school in September. So it'll go quick enough. So I'm glad you're having such fun time this summer already and you've been so busy and and mommy was telling me about another special trip that is planned later on this month and I'm so excited you out Winry and I'll face some Monty but Winry when you find out about the special place you're going to go visit you're gonna go bananas you're gonna love it so it just started raining here and it hasn't rained practically all all the month of June. Nanny's had to water and water and water and water her garden and it's coming along but it's taking a while because it's been so dry. Can you hear the rain? It's coming down and Nanny's excited because we need the rain. So come rain, fall, fall, fall and water the vegetable garden and the flower garden and Nanny just mowed the front lawn and the back lawn today so perfect timing. I was going to do it tomorrow and I thought I think it would be wise for me to do it today and I'm sure glad I did. So with that I wish you sweet dreams tonight and I love you. These are for Monty and Alphaeus and Winry and know that we love you so much and have sweet dreams tonight and I'll see you tomorrow. Love you.